Look at that, baby. Awesome. flipping sauce so I think what I should do now is uh, grab a GoTech I have a few options to play with but I do have this this is the pain in the ass uh, IDE thing that I was running that's a JTAG that's a Berg splitter that's Half-Life 2 for the PC that's firmware for the Xbox 360 so I have a 4440 compact flash. Now this is just going to hang because I'm not going uh, crazy. Uh, this needs power. And we could run a 40 off of it, but this is a 40 pin SD. I really don't have a lot of luck with that, but these seem to work fine. Right, here we go. Amiga 314. <laughs> it might not boot, but we're going to... Like I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. Okay, just from just from the start, I have no flipping clue if it's gonna work. Turn the Amiga on. It's getting power, power light. That's what I'm doing. Is I'm reading what it says here. The cards settings are. And I apologize for this ghettoy looking setup, but this is just for testing purposes only. Uh, JP1 power source external or 44 pin IDE. So JP1 is set for external, but we're going to move it to 44 pin IDE. What's weird is I was still getting power that way. Let's try it again. See, it's power in the card. Floppy tries to access, but it can't. And then this should start going. So power and LED1 master. What does it say? master is present okay but it won't do poo because it's so the old red light is working yay workbench 3.0 DF0 is not connected uh, 2 megs of chip I do have a utilities disc an actual disc with like sysinfo and crap on it I believe disc master go ADF Amiga Utilities. This might be a couple disc swaps. Why is my left click not working now? Oh my god. I jiggled the cable. Great, I got AMA TCP on there. Directory works. Well, that ain't gonna do nothing. PCM CIA drivers. Flash media smart card. Compact flash. Install docs on disk. I wonder if that still works. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna copy directory works. All 40 kilobytes of it. To RAM. And I'm gonna copy the ADK Amiga Explorer. To RAM also. Because I have no keyboard right now. It is 50 degrees where I'm at right now in the workroom. 50 degrees. Brr, my coffee's already cold. Okay, so with that, we're going to go into RAM. We're going to run Amiga Explorer. Always oh, something going off. Okay, so we're on serial.device 38.4. So here, flip into the PC. We're just going to make sure that our Amiga Explorer is set for serial before we launch it and get a bunch of stupid errors. It's on TCPIP. So we're going to go serial, OK, and now I'm going to launch it. There. Now I can go into RAM disk. This is the 1200. Directory works is in there. I'm just going to grab uh, like a sysinfo or something and a witch amiga and maybe an AIBB. Or not AIBB, the, uh, the freaking tester thing. Still running. All right, and we can run RAM, and we'll see. We have our toys in here. I, ooh, I can't clean up, so we're just gonna go ahead and run. Uh, show all files. Still copying. I gotta wait. 
Why am I having issues with clicking? Let's left click. I can't right click now. What the hell is going on? Now I can't left click. Is this mouse port just effed? Yes, this mouse port is effed up. Show all. Clean up. Alright. We're going to run sysinfo first. What does that say? Maybe it's just my mode. That's fine. ECO 20 should be fine on speed. What is it? 14? 15.20. Memory. 2 megs of chip. Nothing else. Boards should be nothing. Drives, DFO, DF1, DFO is the only one hooked up. And quit. We'll get rid of sysinfo. Oh god. This mouse port seen better days. Okay. AGANT Alice 2 Meg 6820 ECO20 uh 14.2 MHz no MMU no FPU AGA Lisa 4203 AGA NTSC Alice uh A364 Paul Omega AGA bandwidth 4x no clock 2 megs of chip workbench 3 workbench 3 your computer's an Omega 1200 great there we go now we'll run the advanced Amiga analyzer. We're going to see my right click, left click, all that stuff. I want to make sure this puppy is working good. I need to turn on my audio to, I don't know which one it is, this one. And we're going to do audio. And we're going to run test. Whoa. That's loud. I have to turn it down. doing the different left and rights on my speakers. That's a little quiet. So left, listen to it, very quiet. Look at this. Look how loud the right channel is compared to the left. It works, but it's not perfect. But I want the memory test. It's only two megs of chip RAM, shouldn't take that long. It's only one FE803. <laughs> now this was shown to be passing on all okay passed 3906 AGA2 MIG AGA Lisa display is NTSC FPU none 68020 2 megs of chip RAM so that's all I got for now because I don't have the rest of my parts but it's nice to finally be on the A1200 team and I only have two systems left to purchase after that to have, well, all the classic Amiga collections. And then we're going to go more advanced with some other new stuff with the 1222 and a couple of other toys that I have, hopefully, in the works. So thank you for watching. This is the new NTSC, or new to me, NTSC Amiga 1200. And it seems to be working fine. We'll check back later for an update. Thanks for watching.